Hello, hello, it's Ashling Mooney here. Oh, June, 1st of June, you're very, very welcome. This is Ashling Mooney, spiritual business mentor and coach for light workers who want to create a spiritual business that's fulfilling, sustainable, and profitable. So June is just going to be an amazing month. So I'm going to do an angel card reading for us. I have the full year done. That you can go back and you can you can have a look at that. It's on YouTube. Hi to whoever joined me. So there's a full year reading. It's in two segments. And it's on YouTube on my channel. You can go and you can have a look at that. I'll actually post it. But um, you will see in that that June is just a month of a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun, a lot of manifesting. So I've decided to hold a whole month of uh, manifesting party. Hi Becky. Um, so for the month of June in the Wealthy Lightworkers Network, that Facebook group, I will be hosting a manifesting party. Now I am winging it. <laughs> I want it to be fun. I want to, it to be intuitive. So I have a loose structure around it. I have a million ideas of things I want to, to go through, like food and manifesting, thoughts and manifesting, movement, how that affects you in manifesting. The fairies, which is around midsummers, will be will be you know just jumping into that energy of inner child, a bit of fun, how you can use that to manifest whatever you want in your life, creativity, um, your dreams, angels, how I manifest um in all the different areas of my life. So if that sounds like fun, say yes. I'm gonna post the link and you can join in the group starting today. I'll be live in that group at 12 o'clock today, just kicking it off, getting us to set our intention for the month, 30 days. And yeah, and the first exercise is around making space. So clutter clearing, clearing out this weekend and just getting ready to welcome in whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life. So if it sounds like fun, like even if you came in one day out of 30, that's fantastic. So if it sounds like fun to you, then I would love to see you there. And this, by the way, is part of the launch of my brand new program, which is coming out in September. It's the Wealthy Lightworkers program. It's a year long event. And I hope my vision for this is that it will become the go to program for lightworkers who want to create success in their spiritual businesses and go from poverty to wealthy. And that includes your mindset. And everything that goes with that. So there's there's going to be loads of information about that throughout the month. But um, whether you you know are interested in that program or not, this manifesting party will help you in every area of your life. It's completely free content. You know, I don't do this very often. The last time I ran an angel boot camp was two years ago, where I did one month of activity. So it's quite rare for me to do this. And the reason is, I I just think it's going to be a really perfect month for it and it's going to be a lot of fun so we're going to do a reading uh say say hello everybody just say your name and just let me know where you're from where you're watching this from if you're watching the replay thank you for watching the replay and just post um where you're from so i'd love to hear you where you are in the world okay so angels come in and give us some guidance for all of the light workers watching this um, live or in the replay love to you all wherever you are today this is going to be an amazing month it's going to lift feel like energy is lifting a little bit more play a lot of fun a lot of lightheartedness the areas are the fairies are really coming in strong this month so i'm going to pick um um four cards for us so this is an overall one <clears throat> i really hope this is useful for you wherever you are in your life so that's the first week, which is from today for seven days. Good morning, Christine. Um, oh, yeah, I like this card. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and there's another card has popped out. So we will. Um, so let's look at the overall card for this month. Hi, Joe and hi, Louise. Hi, everybody. I'm going to say quick hello to everybody. Becky, Kathleen. Uh, Maria, Linda, Joan, lovely to see your faces here. County Mees, uh, Cork, hi Christine, Louise in the UK, Wigan, Joan in Dublin, and where have we got Karen in Ballyferma. Hi Karen, haven't seen you in ages. 
Mary and Sligo and Siobhan. Where are you? Are you you're in Mulligar, Siobhan, aren't you? Siobhan is an amaz amazing psychic um, dealer, medium, an inspiration to me, one of my clients and colleagues. So yeah, anybody's you know, go and check out Siobhan's page. Um and post it here if you want, Siobhan. Okay, my darling. So okay, so the overall for this month now, it's the two of Michael, which in the tarot is the two of um, swords. It will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem and find a compromise. Okay, so I'm going to apply this to me and hopefully apply it to you. Um, so this month, some of you have been sitting on the fence about something for a long, long time. Could be in your spiritual business it could be in an area of your life it could be in a relationship it could be a health issue um you know there's a lot a lot of around love actually there and a lot of you around health and i can relate to the health um issue i know i need to change my diet i know i need to give that some focus so um yeah so the two of michael is about stop dithering and make a decision so that is for the month of june no more dithering just it sucks being on the fence being on the fence is one of the worst places to be because you're neither here nor there you're you're in the middle of a decision it's like this limbo so you know make a decision so a little easy tip for you to make a decision about whatever it is that you are, are dealing with right now at the moment or whatever you come up um with throughout the month you know different decisions can hold you back can you know just send you not send you anywhere get, keep you stuck when you don't make decisions so um Whatever it is that you are dithering on, it is time this month to move forward. And the angels are just reminding me, they're just coming in and they're just saying, it doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be difficult, it doesn't have to be a struggle. You know, a lot of times these decisions that we keep are going on in our head. You know, we're mulling them around, we're, we're overthinking things and making them bigger than they are. Where if we just get them out of our heads, take action steps, make decisions little best decisions that we can in the moment and um, these big big things that we thought were big or are actually very small manageable pieces so that is um the key for you this month helping you to make decisions so archangel michael is here with that giving you protection comfort safety knowing that you you make good decisions and you know what you're doing and just trust and ask the angels for help and just trust in the next steps i can't wait to see what's coming in this whole card deck for us so yeah so just make a decision wonderful wonderful card <clears throat> and there's another overall card so there seems to be a little bit of anxiety a little bit of worry in the consciousness now at the moment which is which is a complete paradox to the energy of this month which is fun joy air lightness you know gemini and this card says your worry is unnecessary focus on thoughts on the outcome you desire release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels so it's like you know there's 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 just i watched a, a beautiful program there during the week in, on rt i don't know if it's available you can have a look on rt player and it was called i think it was called stressed out stressed out ireland and it showed five different people and how they were suffering from stress and anxiety in their lives and then the, the part two of the program brought you through how they applied different principles and things and some of them were very simple some of them were just uh, changing their diet adding in probiotics um uh taking magnesium uh you know mindfulness was a big one like and these they, they went through these programs and courses which we've all heard about and these techniques but they actually monitored it scientifically so they showed scientific results about how this actually affected these people over a very short period of time how it reduced their stress levels and reduced their cortisol levels and really contributed to their overall well-being reducing sleep turning off the phones before you go to sleep so there's a lot of so i'm getting the feeling that this anxiety that you're feeling this worry is is really related to 
um, little tweaks that you can make in your diet and your lifestyle that will reduce that so that you can make clear and conscious decisions this month. So, oh my God, this is, this is pretty interesting where we're going with this reading. So, okay. <clears throat> you are reminded, let me just take a cup of tea. So you are reminded, <clears throat> oh my God, this is how I feel about this month. A very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and insight so this is how i feel that it's like <clears throat> excuse me that it's like the end of a cycle we're in the sort of midpoint of the year this is the month the sixth month and for me it feels like the end of a cycle so um the beginning of this month was very revolutionary especially around feminine energy i predicted that in the reading the overall reading i did and it came in very, very strong month after month. The Me Too movement, the Time's Up movement, all of the, the, the stuff that we're, we're seeing in our news feed and on Google. Um, but it just, for me, feels like that this month is a little bit of a breather, <clears throat> a little bit of a reminder to have fun, to relax. Um, and it's number 21, and it's the world card in the tarot. So you are protected and safe. There's Archangel Michael there in that card. Standing in front of the world, protecting and guarding your world and our world. And just reminding you that you're safe, that you're protected. And this is a little bit of a breather. And that you have, you know that song, you have the world in your hands. And a lot of times we feel perilous in our lives, different situations. And the angels are just reminding you to come back to, to center, come back to your soul, connect with, you know, with your angels, ask for guidance and advice and just take small steps, just small steps, but knowing that you are protected and safe. And Michael is just nudging there and saying that there are hundreds of thousands of unemployed angels wandering around, sitting at the back, having a cigarette break, waiting on you to give them a ring and call them and get them into action. You know to help you in whatever area you, you want help with in your life the angels can't help you unless you ask for help unless you ask them you put them to work so many many angels waiting for you just to reach out and ask for help this is the first week in june so a wonderful reminder feeling of completion a feeling of full circle there will be some endings that's the decisions that we've been asked to make there will be some endings and some letting go but it is it is playful you know still continuing with this energy of the number two in this year the second week in june is the ace of raphael a positive new emotional experience fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insights so what i'm getting from this love came up um, in the beginning i feel like that some of you might have been going through some difficulties in your uh, personal relationships in your love relationships and some decisions need to be made and that could be it might be letting go of that relationship but it can also be letting go of who you are in that relationship and who you think you should be and letting go of who you think the other person should be there's a beautiful book for women called the surrendered wife uh, by lorna doyle i think it is which is very very good um just to help you to reclaim your role as a woman um, in a relationship. And so there's something about little tweaks, things, decisions that you can make. Haniel is coming in very, very strong to help you. She's the goddess, the goddess angel for no, to help you to say no. Um, but these little tweaks that you can make in your life, please text me and let me know if this is resonating. Post a message, give me a heart if any of this is resonating. Um, but a positive new emotional experience fulfilling romantic relationships and deep and lasting spiritual insights so there's a there's a it's good it's good for love second week in june is good for love make uh, time to spend some time with your love make time to spend some time uh, calling in love if you're single and you want to be in a relationship and um, i'm actually going to post a brilliant um exercise in the manifesting party in the second week brilliant so we know what the second week is going to be about <laughs> so 
yeah and there's two dolphins in this picture so it's just a big reminder to have fun the twos have fun but um, just bring a little playfulness and imagination and creativity into your relationships and this is also a reminder to recommit to yourself you know your first relationship is to yourself um, and Elizabeth Gilbert talks about this what if we first married ourselves and promised to love and honor ourselves what would that look like what would our lives look like what would change so Second week, first week is completing things, uh, making decisions, realizing, just feeling like an ah, okay, the end of a cycle, new beginnings. And the second week is a good time for love and your relationships. <clears throat> okay, and the third week is an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed, review contracts or documents very thoroughly. And this is a page of uh, Michael and it has an owl in there. <clears throat> so for me, knowing that this month I'm going to be introducing my new program to the world that's, that starts in September, the Wealthy Lightworkers program with the owl in there that's for education, for knowledge, esoteric and practical knowledge. Um, this card is telling me that this is a really good time to bring people on board into that program. And for you, you might be one of those people that decide to step into that. But if not in that program, this the third week is a good time to really uh, learn, to find a new teacher, find a new program, a course or a group, whether that's a live group or an online group or community, and decide to learn something new. I, I heard Louise Hay there um, a couple of years ago in an interview and uh, she said that every year she tries to learn something new you know she took up art in her in her 70s i think she took up dancing one year but she tried to learn something one specific new thing every single year i mean amazing so the angels are reminding you in june is a good time fresh to start something new so you know come back to what you want i'm actually being reminded of a book called the seven spiritual laws of success by Deepak Chopra. It's one of my favorite books. I might actually do a complete live stream on that book. I read it years ago, and that will help you to find out your dharma, reconnect with what it is that you love to do in your life, um, and would you know could give you a, a, a vision of what to study next. So brilliant. Okay, so that is the third week, and the fourth week of June is oof. Queen of Michael, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. Okay, so this is so funny. I've mentioned Louise Hay and she's actually in this picture, which is so beautiful. That I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of a bit blurry, but that's actually Louise Hay. Uh, these cards are the uh, Archangel Power Tarot deck. But Louise Hay is actually in the picture. And, you know, the queen of positivity, the queen of manifesting. <clears throat> so it's wonderful. So I feel like this This is full of um, um, white, uh, blue butterflies and there's a white dove and yellow flowers. So for me, it feels like by the end of this month, if you join the manifesting party, if you, if you if it resonates if you're like yeah that, that sounds like fun it sounds like i could learn a lot and you can apply the, the stuff that we're, we're going to be working through every day <clears throat> that i feel like at the end of the month at the end of the 30 days you will be more confident you'll have more knowledge you'll have more tweaks you'll have a million ahas and golden nuggets about how to manifest what you've been doing maybe wrong that hasn't been working in the past and what you can do tweak to change that in the future in the present and hopefully by the end of the month i would love it if my aim is that everybody manifests at least one thing so just using one of the processes manifests at least one thing i think are going to be a lot more than that so it could be a client in your spiritual business it could be money in the bank account it could be um, a relationship it could be better health or getting out and getting fit, I don't know, whatever it is your intention is that you'd like to manifest. But I feel like by the end of the month, if you give it your focus, 
And the angels are saying to me, even if you only did one a, one a week, one live stream a week or one exercise a week, that you would get, you would still get results. So by the end of this month, just applying, just being in that space, sitting in that space with us and opening up to manifesting whatever it is that you want in your life and in your spiritual business, you will feel like you're sitting on the throne of, of knowledge, new knowledge, new ideas, new direction. You'll know exactly where you're going. And this is having given relationships, given decisions, given relationships, you know, uh, it's now time for you and your career. So in particular, if you're a light worker for a spiritual business, this is a really good month, especially towards the end. And I'm, you know, July is about wishes, making wishes. So we're going to be going more into that in July, but, um, but this month, and in particular, the last week is about is more about your career and about your relationships. So you will have to make decisions about what is in your best interest as a spiritual entrepreneur, as a light worker, and what will bring you forward. And by that, I mean, what is the one thing that will help you to get your gifts out into the world in the biggest way so that you can meet and serve all of the people that you are here and sacredly contracted to serve. So I hope that that was useful for you today. At 12 o'clock, I'll be in the Facebook group, the Wealthy Light Workers Network. If you want to hop in there, you want to join me, uh, I would love to see you there. I am just going to uh, have a look through any more of the comments. So, love to you all, wherever you are today, and I will talk to you at 12, hopefully in the Wealthy Light Workers Program. Please share this if you thought it was useful. If you know somebody that it might be useful for, please share it with them. Have a beautiful bank holiday weekend if you're in Ireland or just have a beautiful weekend. I hope it's sunny where you are. Bye.